Legend of Total War here with part 44 of my Mount and Blade Warband Anno Domini 1257 Let's Play campaign as Legend of the Conqueror. Previously we declared war on the Hungarians and have moved our massive force over to just basically take settlement, to, uh, settlement by settlement. The easy ones first, that is. Just limit the amount of areas that they can run back and hide to, or gather forces. And also by depriving their lords of their... Of their uh, I had a good feeling about Poson, but I guess not. It's a siege tower. We'll come back to it. It's just that it, it takes too long to siege, that's all. Alright, we'll make our way to Varad. So, one of my guys was defeated. Lord Yashmut. Well, it's his own fault for not following with me. Seems to oh, for fuck's sake. 36 hours. Well, where else? What else is out here? We've got Albans, let's go for there. But I think after that we'll we'll start just accepting the fact we're gonna deal with siege towers. These raids don't concern me. No, that's good. Because during peacetime that'll all just recover. Someone was taken prisoner by us. Well, good job. Alright, let's take this one down. This should be easy. I think it's another castle. Yeah. And our battle advantage is 6, which means we are diminishing in, in our size of force. Because we used to have battle advantage of 9 in a settlement size of this. But considering what we've taken, I think that's pretty good. It'll take the Hungarians some time to even muster a force enough to take one of those settlements, because if I show up and defend it, they're going to have a much harder time of taking it. The armor's doing its job. I'm getting shot, but it's not taking any damage. Really ladders needed for that. Let's bring a fucking box. Well, actually, a, a ramp would be better. Let's get in there. Get out of my fucking way. That's my piece. Let me in. I want to kill someone. I don't know where they're going, but I'm going to go up here. So that requires, I'll, I'll get my guys actually deal with that. I don't want to be taking that much boiling oil damage. Is there anyone up here? I don't think so. Let me just check. On the map, there's no one there. So once we clear this section here, they'll go and knock down that area. I'm assuming. How do we get up there? I wonder if that door we can like break it down and get through there. No. Alright, I'm gonna tell my guys to hold this position here, because it's better off if I just go fight that.
Out of my way. Out of my way. Motherfuckers. Out of the way. Don't know why it says raise ladder, but whatever. the charge. This is definitely not a battle I would like to have to do twice. What are you doing? Going the wrong way, motherfuckers. There's nothing up there. I already cleared it. Well, that's what you get for having a fuck face. Hard to miss with a nose that big. Wacker. Still not. Oh, they're actually fighting there now. Well, I just keep trying to get rid of these guys as much as possible. These haven't taken much damage at all. The armor seems to be doing well for me. I mean, it's not going to block a crossbow bolt, but if it can soften the blow a little bit, then that, that was worth that seventy thousand then. Plus, then my other armor is also helping my ally, so he'll last that little bit longer in a fight. Not that he's anywhere near as useful as I am. Not to be arrogant or anything, but it's just a fucking fact. Oh, shit. This much of my guys give me backup. Actually, this could work. Well, they're out there. I'm just going to pass through their lines. Guys up here are bound to have killed quite a few of my guys, so it's good to carve them up. Too much damage that. Not gonna last much longer at this rate. Oh well, I'm content with what I've done so far. Yeah, it should have made up your mind, you dumb fuck. Jeez, we haven't actually killed all that many of them yet. Evenly matched. I probably shouldn't have done that. At least I'm getting just a 
few more kills before I get knocked out. Alright, how are we going now? Oh fuck, the boiling oil got me. I should have stayed in there. Oh well. I've got auxiliary troops. And because we outnumber the enemy by so much, even if they kill us 2 to 1, we'll still end up winning. At the moment it looks 1 to 1. Problem is, now that I've been knocked out, the kill ratio might not go quite as well. Then again, most of my soldiers are just being wounded, not actually killed. So we should be able to keep progressing even if even if this doesn't go very well. Okay, so at least he's got a sword. Although I might be better off just standing here and shooting them in the head. Although this guy's really slow at shooting. And I tell you what makes me appreciate my own fucking skills when I can draw twice as fast shoot them in the head and do way more damage than fucking eight and be more accurate it's kind of shit I think long it's taken me just to kill one guy hard time shooting them from this angle. No, it's not gonna happen. Too short range. Oh well, at least I'm doing some damage. Clear those. Um... Oh, hang on. These guys here are doing way more damage. It's not going so well now. We're taking a lot of casualties. This guy was giving was really weak. Give me this. I don't want a one-handed axe. I want a two-handed axe. Give me the scythe. Fucking hell. Finally get a weapon I can use and get killed. How many of them are left? Would only be about 150. But the kill ratio is not good at all. We've almost lost twice as much as them. I'm not fighting that close with a fucking spear. But give me big old glaive. Now I think I should go up there and clear that first because I reckon one of those guys was the one that shot me. Until that's cleared I'm not going to be able to do much damage. This has been cleared here. This guy doesn't have a bow, and he's dead anyway. Okay, and just with that, you can see that the kill ratio seems to be increasing without those archers. Fucking oh shit! Probably should have stayed back. Maybe I should stay here. It's in a good kill zone. Oh yeah, I got no problem with that at all. That was great. Oh no, you don't. I think I'm going to let a few archers get up on those walls. You are fucking mistaken. Yeah, 
two-handed weapons are great. Hey, don't shoot me, fuckhead. I don't have much health left. But that's okay, this guy's just a loser. He's already killed quite a lot of them, so... It's not bad at all. No, hell no, you're not going up there. Uh, I don't care if you go up there. Focusing on me, I've got a good kill zone. That's okay, that guy definitely did his worst. Alright, what have we got here? This is a nice axe. Ah, that's not an axe. This is an axe, motherfucker. I can't seem to do much with it. I've got him right in the fucking face and he can die straight away. Nope. Oh, yes. Alright, how are we going now? 273 of them dead. Uh, plus the 13 wounded. Not too many more left. I wouldn't be surprised if this is the last of their reinforcements. Now, if we take out the amount that we've actually gotten our guys killed, we're still on top. I mean, a lot of our allies have got wounded soldiers, and it will take them a long time to heal, but at least they're not dead. Looks like there's a bit of a slaughter going on there. I need to get a better weapon than this. It's not good enough. So, no. Fucking assholes. <laughs> yeah. Carve up the back of their legs. First example in history of having a low ground advantage. And then again, it's also pincering. Okay, that does seem to be the last of their reinforcements. Oh no. Couple more men on their way. Oh no, you don't. Asshole archers. Even though we got killed there, did a lot of damage. It looks like we've still got more. Let's see if we can pick up another two-handed weapon. Hang on, is that a glaive there? No, that's a scythe. I'll still take it. Not quite as good as a glaive, but whatever. At least it's two-handed. I like the two-handed weapons. I'm gonna get shot. Are they getting some more guys come out over here? Yep, let's try to avoid that. I want to get up on these walls. They seem to be repopulating it. Shit, no, I fucked up there. I didn't kill anyone. It's like being possessed just throws them right back. Oh man, I don't, don't like this weapon. Pick up something else. This isn't what I was hoping for, but whatever. This will just have to do until I find something better. This is better. But I'm getting shot to shit. This 
specifically aiming for me. There's too many archers up on the wall. Oh, god damn it. There's still 50 enemies left. I don't understand why I wasn't able to keep fighting. Well, I haven't used up all of my forces, so I don't know why none of my guys are there. There must be 50 archers up on the walls here, because there's none in the courtyard. Yeah, there's quite a lot of them. That's why I kept dying so easily. And this is exactly why I always like to go clear off the archers. You can see how much damage they do. Right, with every archer that you get rid of, it'll make it easier for you to get rid of the others. Quit dilly dallying around. Get on with it. easier time of it now. get more reinforcements. Yeah, they did. This has got to be the last of them. It just has to. A difficult settlement to take this one. Kind of wish I could just be speed up battle. Just hurry them up. Because now that I can't do anything, it gets a bit boring. But nor do I feel like I should withdraw, because that would badly impact on morale. I suppose now's a good time to start building siege towers, because it'll give these wounded soldiers a time to heal. A part of me wishes I could just prioritise my soldiers to show up and not my allies get my soldiers up there first, because I can easily replenish my forces, thanks to um, Nestor. I'm going to hurry up and kill the last of them, so we can move on to the next settlement. Last fight over here. I mean, there's a lot of them there, but I guys seem to be carving them up pretty well. Most of them would be archers there. And yeah, we lost a lot of soldiers on this. So not the best of victories, but a victory nonetheless. them, and I'm already back to full strength. Alright, good. And we're really not in good shape now. My allies have not many men left. 
Part of me thinks we should call off the, uh, let me just check my notes, just make sure that no one's actually at war with us as well. Alright, so let's have a look here. The fighting just with the, um, the Hungarians, so we're all good. Let's go to Varad and lay a siege. Oh, what? Ah, it doesn't matter. Okay, we'll take 36 hours, which will give my guys a bit of time. They might recover maybe 10 soldiers each. But hopefully we should still have no trouble getting in there and taking this. See, the Hungarians, they're only interested in raiding. And that, that's not going to win them the war. They might make them a bit of money, but not the war. I mean, they are going to be costing me money, but that's fine. See, that's not as much as I usually get. But that's okay. Alright, let's do this. Of course, anything we can do to get Simon some more um, engineering skill needs to be done. Come on, fuckers, let's do this. Shoot them from this distance. It's too far. Oh, I got him. It's just hard to hit them. Too small of a target. A lot of arc to uh, account for. What about from over here? Javelin men. That little shield is protecting his fucking toes, apparently. through here, start covering up their missile units. That's, that's flank is done. So if we have a look here, we've killed more than we've lost, so that's great, that's what we need to be saying. If this continues, we'll win. Blocked it off. Oh, 
間に合わなきゃいけないスタートマイウェポンズワッチューワンのシチュエーション Behind here, do you? Oh, shit. Oh, god damn it. Is that a shield of the guys putting it right between my eyes? And no. Something like a two handed weapon. And there's nothing down here like that. Try the knobbed mate. Oh, hang on, here we are. Scythe. As soon as I get knocked out, my guys start acting like shit again. Numbered or something. I mean, I've only lost a handful of men. Oh, man, look how much damage it just took. This is gonna fucking kill me. Idiot, rid of him. There we go. Revenge for me. Good. Well, it's better than nothing. At least I got some kills. Soldiers, because I haven't. I've barely used up any of my personal soldiers yet. And the enemy must only have about 300 soldiers left. Oh, We've only killed 200. Come on, kill him. Just love the way that. Spear just goes right into his thick flesh. But that was fucking terrible. Give me this javelin. 
I have a feeling this battle's now got to the point of pointless. We can't really get much done now. Maybe, I don't know. Get out of my way. I got through. Okay, now I need a better weapon. Give me the glaive. The glaive. See, so you got nothing. Ah, this weapon here is not good enough. This one's alright. God damn it. Probably have to call off the campaign after this this assault. Well, after we've taken the settlement. I'm confident we'll take the settlement, but it's coming at a high price. Not quite as high as the price of the previous battle though, which is good. Okay, good. They're they're fighting in past here now, not just fighting just that wall. down here. Might go around the back of him. Well, it's not going too badly. The, the kill ratio is not great, but we can afford this kind of casualties. Oh, they're coming from the rear. Oh, fuck. I don't know if this is a good idea, standing here. Oh, God. Too many missile units locking onto me. I'll just hide until um, they lose interest. Because they've got unlimited ammo, so I can't just try to waste their ammo. Oh, they haven't lost interest. Ah, oh, I'm dead. Well, that didn't work. could work, or it could backfire. I don't think I'm going to get many kills with this, or any actually. Just don't have a good, don't have a good shot. Give me the glaive. Once again, I'll go around the back. It's probably going to backfire, but I just can't get anything done from there. Anyway, these guys are, my guys are absolutely kicking ass at the moment. We must be getting the higher quality units, or maybe it's just the positioning is just right. Oh, fuck. Cool between a rock and a hard place here. Yeah. We can get out of there. And it's good that we killed one of them, but we should try to aim for more than that. Oh, well. Weak unit takes a soft death. What do you expect? At this rate, the battle's pretty much going to be over soon. 
It's just I'm not really able to participate from here. Come on. Good, let's go. Kill. Ah, oh, you're weak anyway. Only a handful of them left. Now they seem to have forgotten the guy that's right there, so I'm going to go after him. There's more than one guy as well. Mm, spear's no good. But he wasn't paying any attention at all. He's like daydreaming. Shield bashing done. Alright, we won the battle. Good. And I get to recruit some of my losses. I might just be able to fill up my ranks. But it's not going to fill up my allies' ranks, and they lost more, and I do need my allies to be in decent strength. So I think what we'll do here is just check the tavern to see if there's a um, ransom broker. And then we'll end the video there. But we've pretty much taken half of Hungary's territories. I've got plenty of food for all my rotten pork here. You can have, take that back. It's not much. I'll take the honey, actually. Now, even though my guys are probably in a really weakened state, I think we should just keep on... Oh, I don't know, actually. Because if they get captured, it's not going to be good. So what have they got left? Is that we'll probably deal with that last. Oh, they're all the way up here as well. See, that's Poland. It's not me. Poznan is Poland. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, guys, that's the end of this episode. So like and subscribe. Part 45, I think, is next. And don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time. Fuckers.